Oh, I thought they were great. I mean, AJ's been really good. I mean, that was kind of a late addition for us about two years ago now, and he's made a great jump. I mean, he's got a lot of extension on his fastball, and he's just really throwing strikes. I mean, we're trying to just get him out there on a the weekend, kind of see how he bounced back from throwing in the midweek, and uh, really excited about him. And, and combsy has been just really good as of late in general. Uh, had a little bit of – got hit around a little bit in the fall, to be honest, by our hitters, but he's been on the attack, and, and him and Frank have made some good adjustments, and he's going to be a force for us on the back end. Yeah, no, just to be straight up, I, you know, I respect you guys have a job to do, but you know, I've been told, hey, there's nothing really I can say on Tony's deal. Uh, so anything about baseball, I'll be more than happy to answer. Yeah, I mean, again, I didn't think it was a bad pitch. I think the guy just got to the bottom of the ball and hit it into the jet stream and didn't get out by much, but completely different win than we had early in the week. So it was kind of different for our defense. But, you know, Chase is going to do what Chase does. It's whether it's Chase Burns or Chase Dolander, we feel pretty good with whoever's out there. It was key for the offense to kind of get going tonight and respond to that first inning. Uh, I think, I mean, again, we always talk about throwing the first punch. You know, they did that tonight on the other side. But, again, like, you know, whether they score two, three, or zero, it doesn't matter. Our, our uh, mindset is we need to put together quality at-bats and guys can string hits together. And we, we have a lot of confidence in this in this offense as a coaching staff. So it's just a matter about kind of finding the right pieces and right places for everybody. But it's always fun this time of year to see kind of who wants to take a job versus kind of maybe hope that they uh, are handed one because that's not going to happen. Like Griffin Merritt starting to kind of get comfortable and coming to himself a little bit? Yeah, he's just a vet. I mean, he's got a ton of at-bats, and, you know, he brings a ton to the table, obviously offensively with, with what he can do and driving the ball to the yard. But he's just a tremendous kid, and we're lucky he's on our team because what he brings to the locker room, uh, just the leadership aspect and how he goes about his work and little things that he picks up, it's, it's almost like another coach in the dugout. You're the one spending the primary time with the catchers. Just what have you seen from Charlie and so far this season. Yeah, no, they've been great. I mean, we have uh, a couple different systems we use to kind of track the pitching and how they're able to steal strikes and help our pitchers. And, and Cal and Chuck have done a really good job. And I was really excited to get Ryan Miller back there tonight. That's something we've been looking forward to trying to do and did a great job catching Combs. And I think it's, you know, three guys that are all more than capable that are all kind of different profiles. So as the season plays out, we'll have some options and right, left, and kind of do some different things with those guys. How exciting is Charlie's development? for you over the years, the way he's stuck with it. He has moved outfielders over there. He's kept, <laughs> kept with it. Yeah, I mean, he's, it's again, I've known him since he was shoot, a sophomore in high school, and it's been a long time. And it's an incredible family, great mom and dad, um, sister, just just great people. So he's a guy that you root for. But again, it's, it's a guy that's worked incredibly hard from the first day to now, and it's never changed. So I know I was honestly like almost like a fan when he hit the home runs the other night. I was I was juiced, and I know my wife saw his dad on the way out, and they, you know, she gave him a big hug and all that. So any success he get, he has earned twofold, and hopefully there's plenty more of that to come. What's his confidence level like right now compared to last season? Well, I think it's a lot better. I mean, <laughs> he's hitting the ball in the yard, but um, just little things like how he walks to the plate, uh, his presence in the box between pitches, I think it's just a little bit slower. And, you know, that's the thing with a young lineup and a young offense at times. It can take time for guys to kind of settle in and, and you, you have to throw them out there under the lights because you can't replicate this in, in a practice or a scrimmage. So I think knowing uh, how, how well he does behind the dish, I think that gives him kind of just a sense of calm when he goes to the up to hit. He can just kind of do his thing up there. How well have you liked the way Chase has responded after the first inning each of his past two starts? Yeah, he's just got to lead stuff. I mean, again, the guys are going to run into balls just because it's a premium fastball. and. Again, guys, they have circling facing him for a week before we play somebody. It's just he's the guy, and he's earned that. So, again, I got no issues or, or no concerns when he's on the mound, and I'm excited to see what kind of gear he puts together for the balls. Is this pitch count kind of where you guys thought coming into it? I think he was yeah. like 90. 90 right? Yeah, I think it was 93, 94. We wanted to stick at 90, but you know, I didn't really want to go take the ball from with the guy on base, to be honest. But you know, we were laughing. I said, hey, man, you can't be mad at me. I gave you four extra pitches. So he, he laughed. and. Good opportunity for AJ to come in there with kind of some traffic on the bases, but nothing, uh, nothing too crazy. How nice is it that you don't have to rush to get guys work both at the plate and on the mound, not having to worry about the run rule? Yeah, right. no, it, it's it, again that's kind of a tricky deal. Um, it's one of those deals we always say is we got to play by the rules of the game. But uh, early in the year before SEC play, it's all about building, getting better, finding who can do what, moving guys around, throwing guys in, in tough situations, or maybe it's a little bit uh, smoother situation from the start. So I think getting those nine innings get, gets it where you can kind of spread the wealth a little bit and get Dylan Dryling in the outfield or get Miller in the game where, you know, if that run rule, it'll take away some of those opportunities for guys that have earned the right to get those late in the game.
Yeah, I mean, um, obviously, <laughs> it kind of a again like what he did. I, I think it kind of crossed the line. To be honest, we talked about it as a group. Um, Kendra was a great kid. It was his first home run. I think we were just you know for my where I was sitting, I couldn't really tell. I thought it might have wrapped around the pole, and then Maui was going crazy in the dugout, you know, locked in trying to help a teammate. So, um, you know, again. Uh, uh, we're really excited about Jake. I think you know he was a great high school player for us from the Northeast, uh, getting a ton of reps. I think he's going to be really good for us down the line. And then Austin Jaslov is kind of a similar mode of Charlie Taylor that he's been in the program, knows the system. You know, could have left at any point to go somewhere else. That has kind of you know gotten better every single day, and now he's getting an opportunity. So again, we want those guys to make the most of it uh, when they're able to do that. Yeah, I think it's I think it's fair. I mean, again, like Booker's story is, I mean, as coaching staff, we believe in that guy. His tools are undeniable, um, how he performed in high school, and he's just got to do it. And I think he will. And that's the reason we left him in that last at bat tonight. I think it's just a matter of, you know, being out there every single day. And there's a difference between coming off the bench and having one at bat and versus having five and navigating. You know, they had, you know, seven, eight pitchers in there tonight or whatever it was when it was all said and done. So, you know, he's a guy we believe in. We want him to keep swinging, and uh, hopefully uh, he gets his.